Welcome again. This is Friday, uh, end of the week. Congratulations, you made it to Friday. Um, this We've been looking at all the passages or a lot of the passages in the Old Testament that apply to Jesus in one way or another. And today I want to talk about something real specific. And um, it's, it's a really neat uh, connection. You don't really get it in... Um, in the English, but uh, you tend to get it much better uh, if you're reading Greek, and especially if you know Hebrew. Um, and we're going to start today in Exodus, the um, third chapter, and just one uh, verse. And it's it's where Moses is uh, sees the burning bush, and um, God tells him to take off his shoes, or he's on holy ground. And um, what he does next is uh, he talks to God, he talks to Moses about what God wants him to do. And then Moses says, uh, tell me your name. And the reason he does that is because um, it was felt in Moses' time that if you knew somebody's name, you um, had their power. So Moses is trying, he sees this big thing he has to do ahead of him, and he wants the power of God. And so he wants his name. And God's reply is this in verse 14 of chapter 3 of Exodus. God replied to Moses, I am who I am. Say this to the people of Israel. I am sent me to you. And this I am then becomes the word for uh, God and uh, translated in, it's translated out of Hebrew. In Hebrew, it's Yahweh. And uh, there's some disagreement about how that's pronounced, but um, it, it's Yahweh. That's I am. That's what it means. So now we go to Jesus. And um, in John especially, Jesus uh, seven times, it's a perfect number, seven times says, um, I am. And he uses this same phrase. And this is one of the things that got Jesus in trouble because he was saying, I'm God. When he says, I am, like in John, um, I'm looking over here on my computer screen, but John 6, 22, he says, I am the bread of life. And in, um, in um, well, let's see, where is this? In, in John 8, um, 22, he says, uh, I am the light of the world. So um, then uh, later in John, he says, I am the door and the gate. I am the good shepherd. Um, I am the resurrection and the life. Each time you hear I am in the New Testament, you hear Yahweh, uh, God. Jesus is claiming that he is God. And that upset the religious leaders because they believe there is one God. And here Jesus is claiming to be God, um, not knowing much about the Trinity at the time. Um, and then uh, John fourteen six, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And then finally, I am the true vine. Each time John is, uh, uh, Jesus is saying, I am God. And these seven things in John are the seven festivals that the Jews celebrated, the festival of bread, the festival of light. Um, and, and so Jesus is claiming each one of these festivals, saying, I am the fulfillment of each one of these things. I am God. And um, so this upset the religious leaders, but it, it tells us a lot about who Jesus is, that he is God himself on earth. And, um, and so this tie-in from Moses, uh, when God says to him, his name, I am, tell him, I am, Sam. It's kind of not an answer to the question, you know, who are you? Well, I am. I am everything. I am the way. I am everything you need to know. And then J Jesus picking that up in John, you know, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. That's a good thing to remember. Have a great weekend, uh, Memorial Weekend. I hope you enjoy it very much. Don't forget to uh, check in, check our service at www.bethelwindsor.com. God bless. Have a great weekend. Take care.